Hi, my name is Chris Morosco, Product Marketing Director at Palo Alto Networks. I'm here to talk about Aperture, a new SaaS security service that we have. So let's look at a typical user connecting from a corporate network. They're connecting to a SaaS service. In this case, we'll say this is a sanctioned SaaS service, uh, meaning it's allowed. And uh, we'll use Box Corporate. It's a great example of a uh, sanctioned SaaS service for corporations. And the users are using this to upload files. Now, the challenge here and the security issue that, that we have here is that once this file leaves the network and goes into the SaaS application, we have no more visibility into it. It can be reshared, uh, the share could change. Um, someone can come in externally and, uh, and connect to the same account and have access to it, or they can introduce malware as well. This will all be completely invisible to the IT team within the network because it's happening in the cloud, uh, not in line. And so there, there's a number of real concerns with this that you have to address specifically for these sanctioned applications. And so let's look at a few of them. The biggest one is malicious outsiders. These are people that are trying to get into your network regardless of SaaS. And typically, they're using malware. And so because of that, um, we have to be able to protect from those people coming in through SaaS itself. Uh, they could use malware within the SaaS application in a unique way that they couldn't otherwise. Because there's nothing protecting or looking in this application, um, the issue that, that you would have is that someone could introduce malware. And because these applications support the ability to automatically sync with services on the network, you could have malware be introduced and then automatically sync with all services in the network. So it's very dangerous, and, and it's unique. Uh, another one is accidental exposure. And in this case, this is this user sharing data, well-intentioned, maybe with a third party, maybe even publicly, um, but they didn't mean to. Right? They accidentally shared data in the wrong way. They're not you know, possibly trained. They don't have the right tools to understand if they've actually shared this data incorrectly. And these services are designed to be shared. And so because of that, um, it's, it's very likely that they could accidentally share data. And it's actually very common that most corporations have some level of, of exposure that happens because of these well-meaning users doing the wrong thing. Uh, it could be that they've shared appropriately, but with someone else who can also share, and then they go and share inappropriately. Or they could share with an external vendor, uh, and then that vendor ends up not being someone that they work with, but the share stays, so you get a stale share. Uh, so this is very common, commonly one of the most uh, common issues. And then the last one is malicious insiders. And, uh, and this is very similar, but in this case, what's happening is that they're intentionally sharing this data. Uh, either they share the data publicly, and then they go somewhere and use an account to actually steal that data, or they share it publicly because they want to you know, hurt the company in some way for revenge. And so we need to be able to address these specific issues uh, for sanction SaaS. And that, that's where we introduced Aperture. Aperture connects directly to the SaaS service. And when it does that, it looks for a number of things. Um, first, it looks for the data in the service. You know, is there sensitive data that's being shared? Uh, is there credit card numbers, uh, personal information, things like that? And it, it looks at it in a, in a very fine way. It also uniquely looks at documents. And it doesn't just look at the document with the contents, but it also looks at um, what type of document it is, because we can use machine learning to learn the, the document itself. Uh, is this document a legal form or a tax form or something like that that would have sensitive data? So by its very nature, it's a sensitive document. And, and not just what we've pre-programmed with the machine learning capability, but we can also classify custom documents. So if uh, this company has a specific document that they want to be able to support, uh, they can actually upload their own document. Aperture will learn what that document is. And then you can apply a policy and, and have visibility into it. The other one is you can see what users are sharing and how they're sharing. And then how, what the share types are. You know, we talked about, is it public? Is it internal? Things like that. 
So these are really the key things that you're able to see from a visibility perspective. And you can have a, a much more detailed view of all these different components. Now, what about the malware piece that we talked about? And that's really the last piece that you want to be able to have visibility into. And so let's add threat here to make it much more encompassing. And that's why we've introduced Wildfire. Wildfire is supported by Aperture. So when it does this check of documents and data within the application, it's able to use Wildfire to be able to determine if these are malware, if they're known, or if they're unknown malware. Um, if it's a known malware, we can respond uh, in a number of ways within the application itself to be able to quarantine that data. If it's an unknown malware, we'll work with Wildfire to be able to determine if it's actually uh, malware or if it's not. And uh, in these SaaS applications, especially ones that uh, are file sharing, uh, it's very common to see a lot of uh, malware being inserted in certain circumstances. In fact, we see uh, quite a bit of malware for specific services that actually touch Wildfire sometimes as much as half the traffic that we see. And so because of that, uh, you want to really be able to protect that uh, with a Wildfire integration and, uh, and use Aperture to be able to remove that malware. So with all this data, you have good visibility. You can do deep analytics into what's actually happening within the services. But what do you do when you want to control these services, prevent these things from happening with the policy? Well, that's also very unique with Aperture because the way Aperture connects to the application itself, it connects direct. Uh, there's no way to evade this service, and the way that we get information is not inline. So if you set a policy today, which says finance can share data with other finance people on Box, but they can't share externally, that policy typically applies today and into the future. It's with, a, with an inline service. But because we're not inline and we're looking at what's actually in the application itself, we can go back in time into the past and see what else was shared all the way since the beginning of that account creation. And in doing so, we don't have to rely on traffic that comes through and eventually we get to the point where we can identify something. We prevent it up front. Uh, without waiting for an event to happen, we do full prevention because of that. So, so now you have a very strong solution in Sanction SaaS to be able to have visibility and control within the cloud application itself. Now, what about unsanctioned? Well, let's introduce the next-gen firewall. Because the next-gen firewall is excellent at identifying applications. Uh, it already identifies thousands of applications, and it identifies hundreds of uh, SaaS applications today. And so we can use that to be able to control which applications are used, but, but not from a, a sledgehammer perspective where we just block all traffic, but we really want to be able to control that um, at a more granular level. So let's extend our box uh, solution here. Let's add uh, box personal. And let's say, again, we have the finance team, and we want to have a policy which says, even though they can upload to box corporate, uploads to box personal are denied because we don't want to accidentally send data to, uh, to Box Personal instead of Box Corporate. But the marketing team or other teams within the organization may require that you actually can download from external uh, companies. And so because of that, we want to be able to allow downloads uh, but not allow uploads. And this is a very common requirement for a lot of customers, say law firms, for example, who can't put data in a service like Box. Uh, but their clients do put data into Box. And so they need access to it, but they want to prevent uploads. And we can completely do that today. Now, what about services that you just don't want to support? Right? We have kind of the services that you know you want to support, you've sanctioned, and you have Aperture protecting, you have services that you want to have some control over, um, but they're unsanctioned. And then you have services which you just know you don't want to support because they may be dangerous. Um, they may be redundant with other, say, file sharing services that you have. You don't want to have five of them. You can just define the one. So with that, we can define unsanctioned and block access to those unsanctioned services. And so that's all available today within the next-gen firewall. But there's, there's one more step that you want to be able to support, and that's really good visibility within the service itself to be able to understand 
what the firewall is seeing, what users are connecting, how they're connecting, how much traffic's being passed. And we have that ability in the next-gen firewall. Because we have the App ID capability and we have good reporting and visibility tools within the service itself, we're able to identify all those applications and generate reports and have visibility with analytics of the data behind it. And this is great for understanding what's happening in your network, just like we do with any other service, but it's even more additive with these SaaS applications because now you can use that to define even better policies and control this data even more based on what you see within this network. So that was Aperture. Um, we're really excited about this new product. If you want to learn more, go to palatonetworks.com.